Attractive, sustainable and functional neighbourhoods are created through many elements coming together. Among these elements are natural areas and processes that need to continue to operate. The water quality is high. Stream flows are little changed by urban development. Habitats are protected or recreated and ecosystems are connected from the land into the streams and harbours. These are the key elements of low impact urban design and development. Justified or not, New Zealand has built an international reputation for being clean and green. Low impact urban design and development will not only help us to uphold this image, but also help us to create the best possible living environment for future generations. In my research at the University of Auckland, I have been analysing the animals that live in the streams because they tell us how successful we have been in improving ecological conditions. There are various types of organisms in the stream. Some of them are pollution sensitive and some are pollution tolerant. And if the pollution sensitive species are present, we know that we've succeeded. The ultimate goal for designing subdivisions and building them this way is to prevent our harbours like the Waitemata Harbour and the Tamaki Estuary from further degrading biologically so that our harbour becomes non-functional. We're building up a lot of heavy metals in particular within the Waitemata Harbour and the Tamaki Estuary and this sort of subdivision design will prevent that accumulation in those, in those areas.